How does alcohol affect cholesterol? Have you ever wondered how your favorite drink might be influencing your heart health? Let's break down the relationship between alcohol and cholesterol in a way that everyone can understand. Alcohol can have different effects on cholesterol levels depending on how much you drink. Moderate consumption, which is about one to two drinks a day, might actually raise high-density lipoprotein, often called good cholesterol. This type of cholesterol helps remove low-density lipoprotein, known as bad cholesterol, from your arteries. However, if you drink too much, things can take a turn for the worse. Excessive alcohol intake can lead to higher levels of low-density lipoprotein and triglycerides. This can contribute to plaque buildup in your arteries, making them stiffer and increasing your risk for heart disease. So, what happens in your body when you consume alcohol? When you drink, your liver metabolizes ethanol, which can stimulate the production of fatty acids and cholesterol. While moderate drinking may temporarily boost your good cholesterol, heavy drinking can overload your liver. This overload can elevate low-density lipoprotein and triglycerides while promoting fat accumulation in liver cells. Over time, this can disrupt the balance of cholesterol in your body and speed up the process of atherosclerosis, which is the hardening of arteries. For individuals with high cholesterol, even moderate drinking should be approached with caution. The benefits of raising good cholesterol are modest, and the risks associated with elevated triglycerides and high blood pressure often outweigh those benefits. Binge drinking, which is defined as consuming four or more drinks in a two-hour period, can sharply increase triglycerides. This thickens your blood and puts extra strain on your heart. Cardiologists often recommend reducing alcohol intake for those concerned about low-density lipoprotein and triglyceride levels. They suggest limits of one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men to align with heart health goals. For individuals with alcohol-related liver disease or familial hypercholesterolemia, complete abstinence may be the best course of action to prevent further complications. To help people understand these concepts better, simplifying terms can be beneficial. For instance, describing high-density lipoprotein as the cleanup crew and low-density lipoprotein as debris can make the information more relatable. Visual aids that compare the effects of moderate versus heavy drinking on artery health can also reinforce these important guidelines. It is essential to remember that everyone's body reacts differently. Genetics, diet, and other health conditions can influence how alcohol affects cholesterol levels. Regular testing of lipid levels can ensure personalized care, especially for those in communities with limited health literacy. Clear and actionable advice is vital to help everyone make informed choices about their heart health.